Hi guys, my name's Frosty and welcome to uh, my first Final Cut Pro X tips and tricks. So we'll get started into it. The first one is actually doing multicam clips. Once I've been through a few things with you, I think you'll find that you know the Final Cut Pro X syncing does get it right 95 to 99% of the time. Um, it's just sometimes you have to enter a little bit of information into it um, just to help it get there. And that's the great thing about Final Cut Pro X is the way it handles all the information of your clips and your metadata. Um, so what we'll be working with today is to save a speeches from a wedding that I shot a while back. So basically what you see here is I've got my two cameras. So the camera's on the people having the speeches and you know the reaction shots from the bride and groom and here's the audio recorded on a H4N device. What you wanna do is First of all, you want to add the information to the clips. So for example, uh, here's the one camera, here's camera one, okay? So we're going to select, oh, we're going to select all those clips. Now what you want to do is you want to go up to info. And now you'll see that I've already actually entered in a bit of information here. Um, normally what I'd go through is go through and go, yep, this is the speeches. So then, you know, when I'm originally going through all my footage, I can just type in the search bar speeches and it comes up with all the speeches. Now, I would select this as camera angle one because it's the main one that I want to be on most of the time. And then I'd also call this 5D because I shot, shot it with a 5D. Now, there's a whole bunch of information you can run down here, but most of the time that there works for me. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to go through, this is my camera 2, so we're going to, this is already called camera 2, and camera name is the couple because it's focused on the couple, and then we'll just click on the audio just to show you, and you want to name that angle 3, it doesn't really matter too much, and I always type in audio. Now now that you've done that, so I'm just going to screw that, well, so what you're going to do is you're going to select all your footage, and you're going to go new multicam clip. I'm just going to call it speeches one and now that you've entered in that I would always tend to kind of leave it in automatic um, just because now that it has a bit more information in it that it should be fine so I was going to go ahead and click OK and what you'll notice will actually sync through it a lot quicker because it knows what order the clips are going to be in oh, and I've run out of disk space that's always fun So what we're going to do is we're going to double click in it and as you'll see it's kind of hard for you to see but it's actually synced it up correctly so yeah that's just basically a bit of an easier way to sync up your clips